Well, welcome back. Tonight at Summer Nights, we continued our study, Follow Me, where we are learning more about what it means to be a disciple of Jesus, someone who goes out and lives like Jesus and also shares his message with the lost world. Last week, we started talking about the importance of Bible study and knowing the truth that is found in God's word so that we can go out and share it with others. Tonight, we're going to talk about how do we do that? How do we read and study and memorize God's Word, and why are those things so important? So we've got a lot of scripture to get to tonight. I'm going to jump right into 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 14 through 17. Here's what it says. But as for you, continue in what you have learned and firmly believed. You know those who taught you, and you know that from infancy you have known the sacred scriptures, which are able to give you wisdom for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is profitable for teaching, for rebuking, for correcting, for training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. God's word is so important for our lives because as it says here, it corrects us, it teaches us, it rebukes us, it trains us, it teaches us how God expects us to live. But how are we going to know how God expects us to live if we're not in the Word and reading it every day? So that's the first thing we should be doing. We should actually be opening up this book and reading it every day so that we can know what it is God wants us to know about how to live this Christian life. But reading God's Word is not enough. Listen to what Paul said just one chapter earlier. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Be diligent. To present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who doesn't need to be ashamed, correctly teaching the word of truth. Be diligent means study. Study God's word. Be a student of his word. It's not just enough to read words on a page and then forget what you read. You need to be studying it, asking questions. Why did he say that? What was the purpose of that sentence? Why did he say it that way and not some other way? What is it that God wants me to learn from this passage? We read God's Word, and we should be studying God's Word. But even that is not enough. Let's skip ahead to James chapter 1, verses 22 through 24. Here's what James said. But be doers of the Word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. Because if anyone is a hearer of the Word, and not a doer, he is like someone looking at his own face in a mirror. For he looks at himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what kind of person he was. In other words, that kind of person looks in the mirror, walks away, and then completely forgets what he looked like. Well, that's foolish, and that sounds crazy, but when we only read and study God's Word, and we don't apply it to our lives, that's exactly what we're doing. He said, be a doer of the Word. It's not enough just to read words on a page and maybe ask a few questions about it. As you go out and live your life, you should be doing the things that God taught you when you read it. So whatever you read this morning in your quiet time, are you living it out today? Are you being a doer of the word and not just someone who listens to it or reads it? I've got one more verse for you. Psalm 119 verse 11. Here's what the psalmist said. I have treasured your word in my heart so that I may not sin against you. God's word is important in our lives because it helps us to not sin. By knowing God's truth and knowing how God wants us to live, it will keep us from making bad decisions. Now, we're not going to be perfect, but it will help us know the right thing to do and the wrong thing to do so that we can choose to live for God. So we should be reading. We should be studying. But we should also be doing God's word. And one of the best ways to do that is to memorize it. How do you remember things? By memorizing them. So memorize God's word so that you will know how he wants you to live every day of your life. So I'm going to give you a chance to put this into practice. Our theme verse, Luke 9, 23. We've read it a lot this summer. Listen to what it says one more time. Then he said to them all, if anyone wants to follow after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. If you and your family haven't done this already, memorize this verse as a family. Do it together and begin hiding God's word in your heart so that you can remember his truth and go out and live for him and share his gospel message with others because that is what a disciple should be doing. 
We've got a couple more weeks, and over the next few weeks, we're going to start talking about prayer. So I hope you will join us again next Wednesday.